So you'll see that it has a date and time of the meeting. You know which meeting room name it is. And if you've added, uh, invited the meeting room to the meeting, mm -hmm. it will automatically publish the calendar of the day of the meeting room. So you don't have to really know anything. You just look at your meeting. That I'm, I was invited to the Simon Hayes meeting and now I join him. You'll notice if it was a Skype for Business call, it'll yeah. automatically illuminate the Skype for Business join button. I simply tap that to join my meeting and I'm off to the races. That's so simple. Yeah, if you know how to invite the room, you can join a smart meeting. You won't believe this, but this is the actual Windows 10 computer that's powering this tiny little this thing here. That credit card size thing, like let's let's give a perspective of size here. This is that tiny, Look at that. that's, but it's a full i5 conferencing computer that's powering this full experience that we're seeing for us. That's incredible. So it's as simple as swiping up and hitting uh, AirPlay. And what I'm able to do is choose the meeting room I want to share, and it will simply allow me to be able to connect and co connect my material with the screen. And so you're noticing that we're sharing all that material at once. And I not, not only can share my phone, but I can share all different types of devices, a computer, a phone, an Android, an iOS, anything without an app, we are doing 60 frames per second of this material. I can choose one to focus on at one point, or I could bring and do a comparative review of multiple at once. So you can share any information, I suppose if you've got other attendees in the meeting and you've got a bigger group of people, they can all bring their information as well. That's right, we can do up to eight uh, devices at once and do 60 frames per second. And I want you to notice that this is a window that can be shared through the Skype for Business call, so all the far end can witness and see what's happening. That's incredible. We also have a built-in whiteboard. Right. And the whiteboard is really intended for breaking down the problems around problem solving. So think of the end of a meeting where you're doing action, owner, timeline, who's doing what by yeah. when, right? This tool will allow you to do a lot more. So the first thing that this guy does is it offers pressure. So just like the Surface Hub, you can absolutely have full pressure inking on this experience. Give it a try. All right, I'm gonna say. So it offers a delightful, fast, fluid Please? experience on marking. Yeah, I'm gonna You're hit up, the yeah. microphone button. Clear whiteboard. You'll notice that you can absolutely understand voice command as well. And it can get your accent, that's all right. It does like my accent. It's, it's it all can, right. It can even do narration. Shut up, I'm actually narrating. So you'll notice that's that amazing. I absolutely can uh, narrate right on the screen of whatever we're talking about itself. That's an incredible feature. It also understands the concept of dynamic objects. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of different file types for you to show you that feature. So I'm gonna bring those out. It kind of comes out in a delightful way on how you can actually work on material. Uh, you'll notice that each object is its own container. Whichever one I bring up becomes the focus of that point. And when I mark up, the ink stays exactly where it's supposed to. So regardless of what aspect ratio, it's anchored directly where it is. And I can then email that, save that, whatever I'd like to do for that particular thing. I'm dumbfounded. Thanks very much for your time, Fraser. Really appreciate it. Thank you.